Hi, my name is Ben Wilsonham and I'm the artist for issue one of Beats of War. And I just thought I'd put together this little process video on how we create uh, the comic artwork for the series. So I usually start off on Photoshop where I'm creating the pencil layer. Obviously here we're just doing a, a short little sketch of um, Et, our main character, but typically on a page there'd be a lot more complicated elements that we can sort of rough out in this stage. And uh, this allows me to just quickly put stuff down, chop it, change it, you know, rotate it, cut bits out and redo stuff again quite quickly before we, um, we go on to the next stage, which will be um, taking this and then moving it to my iPad where I use Clip Studio Paint to do the inks, which you'll see here. The costume design for Et came about from DJ Et's mask that he wears on his DJ sets. We created that into more of a, a flight suit sort of pattern um, for the costume. So he would look like a commander of an alien army, but at the same time it worked as a superhero costume here on Earth. Um, the Etienne race, they're kind of devoid of music. So I kind of took that and kind of run with that they'd have more functionality in, in their aesthetic. They'd be highly more advanced, but without that kind of that jazz, as it were, the look of them would be a little bit more sort of functional. So I kind of take cues from 70s and 80s sort of sci-fi where that may have been a little bit more of the, the case as we look back to it now. So it's like Battlestar Galactica and I looked at sort of like Stingray and stuff like that. And then a little bit later on down the line, sort of like Power Rangers, stuff like that, that kind of had that aesthetic. And I felt we came up with something that's quite nice. It's kind of subtle. It's not, it's kind of accidentally sort of flashy rather than, you know, having lots of bits and pieces everywhere that just don't make sense like you can use this as a an example of an actual sort of space suit as it were here i'm laying out all the like shadows and getting all my lines right um i use an ipad because i've got a stylus and it's you know it's basically just like using a you know normal pen and ink but then we'll bring that back into photoshop and we'll create here like a base sort of layer where i will do the colors this is me just basically laying out um, a color that I can use as a mask, putting all the other colors on top. It's a lot easier way of working and I'm using uh, the marquee tool just to create the shapes that I'm sort of flattening out as it were here. Once this is done, I use the marquee tool again just to create some shapes and we'll go in with a sort of a highlight. My flat colors are usually um, a mid-tone and then I'll create the highlights on top of that, as well as the shadows, as you'll see here in a little bit. Trying to get a little bit more of a, a natural feel to my colors and studying a lot more um, of how light interacts with certain objects and stuff to try and make my coloring more realistic. But here I'm just laying down some sort of shadows and creating a little bit of depth. Then we go into like my my favorite part, which is like creating rim lighting, which um, is a really great way to easily kind of separate um, your main character or something that you really want to focus on and make it like pop. If you want to create a, you know, a focus point in any of your pieces, like use some contrast or, you know, maybe a little bit of a harsher light on like one side, like I'm doing here. Um, and it helps it separate from any sort of background elements. And then I think from here, we're just kind of doing some like minor highlights, some bounce lights, trying to figure out where like light would come in um, or, you know, what would be around him. I know I'm not doing a background here, but just kind of improvising a little bit. And that kind of creates a sense of place. I mean, we had the shadows and you know, a little signature and everything, and we're kind of we're kind of done. Um, this is kind of just like basic insight into how I do the you know, process of the comic book artwork for Beats of War. Yeah. I'm really proud to be a part of this project, and if you haven't checked it out already, please do. Um, let us know what you think about it. If there's any sort of questions you have, you can always hit me up on my 
Twitter or Instagram and uh, I'll be happy to ask any sort of questions that you have about the artwork or the process. Um, thanks for taking the time to view this video. I hope it was kind of a helpful little insight and um, yeah, check the book out. Um, hope you enjoy it and uh, have a great day.